Hatch lets you define your environment to suit you, and one of the things I like to change is the background color. I'm Lindy Goodall, and in this video I'll show you how to change the background color in Hatch. Fortunately, it's easy enough to do, so let's just see how. These are the default colors when you open up Hatch. Notice that our background area outside the hoop is a somewhat lighter gray than inside the hoop. Now, I'm used to working on a white background. I work in a lot of graphics programs, and I usually have a white background, so I like to digitize with the white background. So let's see what we need to do to change the background color. All I need to do is click on this background tool on the toolbar, and we have various options. Now we're only going to work with these top two. We have lots of other options down here. We'll look at those in another video. So solid color here is the area outside your hoop. And the color inside your hoop is, well, inside your hoop. So let's just start by changing that to white and seeing how it looks. Change it to white, click OK. And now it, inside our hoop is white and the outside is still the same default color. Now if I turn my hoop off, Notice that now the background goes all the way across because, well, we don't have a hoop turned on. So if I want my entire area to be white, I need to go back to background and click on white. Now we could pick another color. We have our full color picker here. I'm just going to click cancel on that and do white. And there it is. So if I design in here and I save this design, this background color will get saved with this design. So the next time I open it up, no matter when it is, it will still be white. So the background color is saved with your design. If another design was saved with black, when you open up, it will be black. If I create a new design document, let's do that. Notice now we're back to the default colors because I have not changed the default colors, only the colors for that document. Yes, there are ways to make your background color choices permanent by saving it to a template, and we'll save making templates for another video. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.